What if I told you China is working on projects so massive they could literally change the face of the earth? From building an earth rotation slowing dam that outdoes the Three Gorges threefold, constructing undersea tunnels that link entire cities in record time to 3,000 meter high railways, these controversial mega projects are nothing short of mind blowing. But are these colossal engineering marvels a step forward or a risky gamble? Well, stay with us to find out the surprising truth behind China's three most controversial engineering behemoths. This is Megalith. Please subscribe and never miss an update on the best mega projects. 1. The Arlong Zhangbo River Dam When it comes to dam construction, China is the undisputed world leader and record holder. There are more flood-producing large dams operating in China than in any other country in the globe. They boast the largest hydroelectric power station worldwide, the Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River. But Beijing is gearing up to build something even bigger, recently referred to as the world's first super dam. The news spread back in 2021, when China's National People's Congress provided framework approval of the five-year plan. This super dam is expected to be built in the lower reaches of the Yarlung Zhangbo River, or the Brahmaputra River as known in India. Flowing through the foothills of the Himalayas as the Great R in the Tibet Autonomous Region, this is not just any river. As it reveals through the Yarlong Zhangbo Grand Canyon, the world's deepest, with a length of an astonishing 504 kilometers, a few more than the Grand Canyon in the United States. But what is the big deal about this dam and the controversy in building it? The state-controlled media says this one dam could produce three times the hydroelectric power of the Three Gorges power station. That's a game-changer, given China's plans to peak of its carbon emissions by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. The Yarlung Zhangbo Dam is not without its controversies. The dam's construction has displaced over 1.25 million people and irrevocably altered the natural environment, raising concerns about its social and ecological costs. While the Chinese government and many supporters believe the benefits outweigh the drawbacks, the project has sparked anxiety beyond its borders. The Yarlong Zhangbo, known as the Brahmaputra in its lower course, is a lifeline for millions in India and Bangladesh. India, in particular, fears that China's dam could manipulate the river's flow, turning a vital water resource into a geopolitical bargaining chip. In response, India has initiated plans for a 10-gigawatt dam on a Brahmaputra tributary, escalating the water diplomacy between the two nations. They fear that China's new dam could change the water flow pattern on the river and turn their water resource into a political bargaining tool. In return, India lies down a construction plan for a 10 gigawatt dam near another tributary of the Brahmaputra, which is evidently a countermeasure against China's plan. Indian critics have complained that China has been busy concealing the full details of the project until the last moment when it would be difficult to protest its construction. 2. The Sichuan Tibet Railway the Sichuan-Tibet Railway, a monumental feat of engineering, is to significantly transform connectivity between the Sichuan province and the Tibetan plateau. This 1,629-kilometer railway line traverses one of the world's most challenging terrains, connecting the commercial hub of Chengdu with Lhasa, the capital of Tibet. The reduction of travel time from 48 hours to a mere 13 showcases China's ambition to expand its infrastructure and strengthen its presence in the region. The Sichuan-Tibet Railway is a pioneering project, marking the first electrified railway line and the highest-speed railway in the Tibet region. As a result, passengers aboard the sleek Fuxing bullet trains on this route are not merely commuters, but explorers, experiencing cutting-edge transportation technology while traversing one of the world's most challenging terrains. The true engineering marvel lies in the Yan to Ningqi segment a daunting 1,011-kilometer stretch across one of the world's most challenging terrains. This region, characterized by active tectonic forces and a delicate ecosystem, poses significant challenges to railway construction. The design speed varies between 120 and 200 kilometers per hour, adapting to the diverse topography. Construction commenced on November 8, 2020, and is expected to continue until 2032. This undertaking involves years of excavation, tunneling, and weathering harsh conditions. In contrast, the Ningxi to Lhasa segment, spanning 48 kilometers, is already operational. Inaugurated on June 25, 2021, this section features 47 tunnels and 121 bridges, 
including the impressive 525 meter Zangmu Railway Bridge. The completion of this segment has significantly reduced travel times, cutting the journey from Lhasa to Ningchi from 5 to 3.5 hours and from Shan'an to Ningchi from 6 to 2.25 hours. The trains operating on the segment are specialized China Railway CR200J train sets, specifically engineered to withstand the harsh plateau conditions. Comprising 31 sets, each with 12 cars, these trains are equipped with advanced diffusion and distributed oxygen systems to help passengers acclimatize to the high altitude. This allows for comfortable travel at speeds of 160 km per hour, making it a truly remarkable achievement. Beyond its impressive speed, the Sichuan-Tibet Railway is a transformative project that bridges geographic and cultural divides. Prior to its construction, travel between Lhasa and eastern China required a circuitous route through Golmod and Lanzhou. This new direct line significantly reduces travel time, making previously inaccessible regions of Tibet more accessible to both domestic and international travelers. This engineering marvel is not only uniting local populations, but also connecting the heartland of China to its coastal regions, unlocking the tourism potential of the country's stunning western landscapes. But what are the key technical challenges to overcome in building this unique rail line? We're talking about building a railway that climbs a staggering 3,000 meters in elevation, from the relatively low Sichuan Basin to the high Tibetan Plateau. In fact, over 90% of this railway operates at altitudes exceeding 3,000 meters, pushing the limits of engineering. Take the Milin Tunnel, for instance. This 10-kilometer tunnel pierces through a mountain range, reaching depths of over 1,200 meters below the peak. These challenges underpin a hefty price tag of $50 billion and demand the utmost ingenuity in its design. This project truly redefines the boundaries of what is possible in railway engineering. 3. The Taiwan Strait Tunnel Project Imagine a 150-kilometer underwater tunnel connecting Pingtan in mainland China to Sinshu in Taiwan. This ambitious project is part of the larger G3 Beijing-Taipei Expressway. While China has been exploring this idea since 1996, Taiwan remains skeptical, viewing it more as a political gesture than a serious engineering endeavor. The pingtan Sinshu route has been the subject of extensive academic research in China, particularly by the China Railway Engineering Society. This route is considered the shortest and geologically stable option, despite the region's seismic activity. However, the project faces significant challenges, including its astronomical cost, unresolved technical difficulties, and most importantly, the lack of cooperation from Taiwan. Despite initial government approval in 2013, the future of this ambitious underwater tunnel remains uncertain. But what makes this megastructure such an engineering feat, and what is the great controversy? Let's break it down. This tunnel would be nearly 150 kilometers long, more than six times the Japan Seikan Tunnel, and nearly four times the Channel Tunnel, the longest underwater tunnel in the world. Such a colossal undertaking would undoubtedly push the limits of engineering and incur astronomical costs. Or still, Taiwan is right to suspect that this tunnel could be converted for military use by China at any one time. Although Beijing has been encouraging its partner Taiwan to launch this project, Taiwan views it as more of an extension of a unification project than a transport one. Taiwan mainland relations have become rather hostile in the past two years. Many believe that this tunnel is more of a political affair of strength than just a transportation project. As we've seen, China continues to build highly controversial mega-projects that are pushing the limits of what's possible in engineering, reshaping landscapes, and even lives. But with all this innovation comes the big question. Do these massive undertakings pave the way for a brighter future, or simply amplify China's dominance and control? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, please leave a like and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos about the world's greatest mega-projects.